Hi, I'm Jeff Gallishaw of the Cinephiles and Unfinished Business, and this is Unfinished Business Rough Cut. And this episode, we are talking about Prometheus. Now, to start off, I will admit I am not the biggest Ridley Scott fan. The man has made many masterpieces in his career. You know, Alien, Gladiator, Legend. But, you know, all his other films have been mainly hit or miss. I mean, I liked Matchstick Men, but American Gangster is horrible, for instance. At least to me. Or, not horrible, it's just okay. But, you know, he has this pedigree where you expect excellence every time out of the gate. And for me, he never has recently really fulfilled that greatness. He's a better director than most, but maybe I'm holding him up to a high standard. Maybe I'm just holding him to his past credentials. But I also don't feel like as a director, you should coattail on your past. I mean, if you've made some great work, great. But if you're going to keep working on the field, you got to bring it each time. Look at football players. I'm sorry, if I'm going to pay you this much money, I expect you to play your best. So that's enough about Ridley Scott. So when Prometheus first was announced, I had no interest in it. I mean, I know all the internet was ablaze. Everybody's like, ooh, Ridley Scott's finally making a sci-fi film again. And I was like, eh. And you know, oh, the months and months, everybody's like, oh, this is going to be good. This is going to be great. And I was just like, eh. And then he let the he let the uh, trivia out that oh this is going to be a prequel to you know the alien film so then everybody's like oh shit you know this is going to be great and you know everybody got excited i didn't really get into it or excited until i saw the first preview you know once i saw the first preview then i was like okay this looks good so i went to the theater after the first two weeks and everybody was like oh either it's good or uh it's okay so i so here is my review i went to go see it and i have to honestly say i thought it was okay for what it was visually it's great it's stunning great cast but i have the same problems everybody else had with it just not as harsh as some of you have been out there yes plot holes galore but you tell me what movie that is budgeted at 100 or 200 million doesn't have plot holes i mean this one has more obvious ones and I think it's also getting more picked upon because people are more noticing it because of what they expected. This is a perfect film where the whole thing about the film is all expectation and because it didn't reach the expectation a lot of people had for it, all of a sudden it's just this horrible abomination of a movie. It's really okay. Again, visually it's stunning. It has plot holes galore. But, I mean, if you just go into it, don't necessarily think of it as an alien prequel, you actually might, you know, find it actually just entertaining enough, good enough for you to sit through and, you know, be entertained. But, unfortunately, you know, there's a lot of people who are bad-mouthing it. And, again, I think it's because you all expected an alien-quality film and you got a sci-fi kind of B-movie that just happened to have an alien in it. Yes, I know the many plot holes that it has, you know. Uh, how does the person who's supposed to be a geologist, you know, not want to be there and not make maps? You know, there are plenty of problems. We can probably do 20 shows about that. But I have to say, I honestly think the movie isn't that bad. It's not going to make my top 10 list. But, I mean, I could watch it again and not hate it. I mean, primarily... Of course, you're going to make up your own mind, but since I've been asked what my opinion was and the cinephiles have covered this, that is my honest opinion of Prometheus. It's not bad. Uh, it's a step up for me as far as Ridley Scott goes. And, you know, I think it's very entertaining. Why the woman didn't zigzag when, she, you know, the spaceship's falling on her. We, we can use common sense here, you know, but my thing is if you're running for your life, are you really thinking, oh, I know what will get me out of the way. Let me try zigzag or run in another direction. Or are you going to just be running for your life? I take that, take that as an excuse or however you want to take it. But that is my explanation for that. Now, I can't uh, explain the other 96 <laughs> problems. And please stop blaming Damon Lindelof. He was only sent in to rewrite it. I know a lot of us are still pissed off about how Lost ended. But you know what? 
He did a job. He did the best that he could do with the script. It was disappointing. So what all I'm saying is stop picking on it. Stop acting like it's, you know, the new kid who you thought was going to be awesome and then, you know, found out it was nerdy. It feels like, you know, Daniel LaRusso and Karate Kid. But what happened to Daniel LaRusso and Karate Kid? He started kicking ass at the end. So only time will tell how this film is received. That is my commentary on Prometheus. But before this first edition of Unfinished Business Rough Cut ends, I have sponsors. Not paid sponsors, mind you. These are uh, the sponsors who are me and my colleagues. So if you like what you see, please check out older episodes of both The Cinephiles and Unfinished Business on YouTube. Subscribe and leave comments. Let us know how we are doing, good or bad. Keep in mind, we also have a film review blog at cinephilestv.blogspot.com. Check it out, won't you? And if that wasn't enough, yes, we have a Facebook page, or Facebook pages, mind you, which include the latest film news and open forums. Remember that, The Cinephiles and Unfinished Business TV. Now that we have finished up this business, remember, there is always unfinished business. And I have to ask you out there, have you seen Scott Pilgrim vs. the World? If not, why not? Because it's fucking awesome. And for all those people who don't like me mentioning Scott Pilgrim, I'm going to mention another movie. Have you seen I Saw the Devil? If not, why not? Because it's fucking awesome. And that's the end of this episode. Hope you like it. See you next time.